Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we took a fun little jog through Zarok's garden, and we came into uh, contact with a creature called Jack of the Green, who gave us riddles. We busted his riddles wide open, and we put the uh, insane lunatics to the sword and rescued the mayor. Now... Now it's time to go to the Enchanted Earth. And this mission is quite an interesting one. Because this mission isn't the mission we're going to be doing. Say what? I of course mean that there is a mission inside this mission. Should I be saying levels, stages, does it matter? So, in this mission we will find a witch. And she will ask us to do a task for her and that will set us uh, into another level which is really interesting now that is a key and there's the enchanted earth in all of its glory not quite sure why it's showing shadow demons there because, of course, uh, well, we haven't actually uh, unleashed them yet. But let's get out of here anyway. We, of course, have found another enemy. Don't quite know why I'm wasting fire arrows on them. But there we go. Now we can go this way. Which will lead us to the uh, Sanctuary of the Shadow Demons. But we don't want to do that just yet. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, we're going to go this way and slice these strange fruit things. Evil fruit of evil. Really? <sighs> God damn it. Fine game. I shall play your, play by your rules. We shall kill these fruit things. Plants. Yes, that's what they are. They're plants. There used to be a coven of witches in the caves beneath Cemetery Hill. The whole forest never smelled the same since. Hmm. Yes, well, we have the pumpkin witch, and now we have a witch that's taken up residence here in the Enchanted Kingdom. Well, let's summon her, shall we? Dan, where? There we go. The witch of the forest. Oh, it is you, Seth Fortescue. Forgive me, my lord. I have never met a real hero. <laughs> Ahem. Forgive me, just an old lady's little joke. In truth, I am glad to see you, Seth Fortescue. I need seven pieces of amber that are hidden in the ant. Nest. Bring them to me, and I can grant you a special reward. Sounds easy enough. I will only offer you this quest this once. Are you willing to give it a try? Uh, do we accept the quest? I mean, I guess we have to. Seven pieces of amber from uh, Ant's Nest. Uh, how hard can that be? Also, uh, I have noticed that on the cauldron where you see the bubbling texture of the water, it's actually going out of bounds <laughs> on the uh, cauldron there. It's actually cutting through the top of the cauldron. Uh, well, attention to details. I mean, you can't expect attention to details for 20 pounds, I suppose. Sorry. Ah. Didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? You, uh, now, you did you not, no. <laughs> Well, Dan, this is a little bit awkward, isn't it, buddy? Now, the ant caves. Did you know ants use scents to find their way through the labyrinth of the colony? Outsiders who visit sorely lack sense. We do. And this bloody level is quite maze-like, to say the least. Run, little man. If the master found it now, he would crush it like a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier ants approaching. Onward and meet your tiny nemesis. Yes, also, you must be a very 
small gargoyle as well, so uh, watch what you say, mister. Oh, this place looks a little bit interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, not really a fact. Well, I like the ant caves, but I also don't like the ant caves because it's it can be pretty difficult to navigate. This magic portal was crafted by the fairies. It appears to have been created to prevent something escaping Ooh, from the tunnels below. I see. Well, what could that possibly be? Hmm, well, we can't go that way because fairy magic blocks our path. However, we can go this way. Hmm. What foul beast lives in here? Oh. Yeah. Thank you for releasing me, sir. My people wish only to live our lives in blissful harmony with nature. But alas, the wicked ant queen has many of us imprisoned. Rescue my people, Mr. Fortescue, and you will be richly rewarded. Hmm. Well, I do like being richly rewarded, so... Okay, buddy. We will save your people. Saving these people can be quite confusing as well if you miss any. But, uh... We can't miss any. Cheers, buddy! Excellent! Well, that definitely sounds like something that we need. Good stuff. All right, you bastards. Let's purge this colony of an evil once and for all. You ready, Dan? You ready to get going, bud? Oof. So, we need seven pieces of amber, and we need to rescue all of the fairies. Ah, okay, I think we can handle that. Now, these grubs often contain cash. Hey, friend. Oh. Well, that's a little bit awkward. Alright, well, charge the hammer of doom. There we go. Ah, souls. Fresh souls for the chalice. Now, one thing about this area is there's actually more than seven pieces of amber here. There's actually, I don't know how many pieces of amber here. There's, there's at least ten, which is quite nice. So you don't have to worry about missing any amber. Or should I say, you don't have to worry about collecting every piece of amber. Because there's more than enough to finish the mission. Now the reward we get from the witch is, uh, well, interesting. To say the least. I don't know how useful it actually is, to be honest. Uh, it's more of a curiosity than anything else, to be honest. And these ants really can kick you in the sacks if you're not too careful. Ah, another fairy. Two rescued, four remain. Good. And there's some more amber. Nope, we've already had this amber. Now, you can collect extra amber. Um, it doesn't stop you collecting it when you hit the seven, but of course, uh, you don't actually get anything extra for bringing extra amber through. Can I say extra anymore? Probably. But yeah, she does give us something curious. It's not useful, but it's certainly curious. Right, we're not going to go down there just yet. Excuse me, dude. No. Bad ants. Bad ants. Ooh, Amber, we've already found three of our seven quota. I'm not really sure what she wants the Amber for, but I guess at the same time, that's not really any of our business now, is it? Ah, three rescued. Nice! Of course, that does anger these rather squishy ants. Feeble, pathetic, squishy little monsters. Hmm, alright, we've got a big cavern here. That's fine. Oh, we found uh, more amber. Nice. Yeah, for some reason you get a lot of amber that's hidden in these grubs. I don't know. I guess they're feeding the amber to the grubs, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on ants. Definitely not an expert on magical ants, which I assume these are. Considering uh, the queen looks like she's enchanted in some way. 
But that's okay. We're not here to worry about such things. We're just here to exterminate the nest. And that's exactly what we intend to do. Alright, not bad, Dan. That's some good work, buddy. Let's keep pushing forwards. And hope that we're not going over old ground, which we probably are. In fact, we definitely are, because we've already been here before. It's very easy to get lost in these caves. I mean, it just all looks the same. Apart from these two big caverns. Uh, I guess we could go that way, or we could go this way. But I think this leads up to where we started. I could be wrong. I might get horribly lost here and have to cut out loads of footage. Ah, we haven't been this way yet. Now, in my test run, I actually completed this quite quick and easy. Uh, but of course, this is not my test run. This is the live, uh, quote, live video. Which means the Let's Play as Curse is quite possibly in full effect. Ah, well, I'm glad we run into one of these. Let's fill up our bottles as best we can. Ah, much better. Alright, not bad, Dan. Oh, more amber. That should... Yep, that's all the amber we need. So we can actually leave now. Uh, and our friendly witch would be quite happy with us. But we want to save all of the fairies. Because if we save all the fairies, they shall grant us passage... Oh, hello. To the Hall of Heroes. You can see we're not actually getting souls from squashing these ants. Uh, so, I believe you don't actually have to worry about that. Killing all of the enemies. Although, you know, it's fun to kill all the enemies. This is, I think that's where we started. Yeah, that's where we came into this place. That's where we went originally, so... Logic would have it that we need to go this way. Okay, Dan. See if you can sniff them out. Those fairies look like they would uh, have, well, let's just say an odour to them, I guess. Is that fair to say? Am I judging these fairies too harshly? I mean, they look like they uh, spend most of their time smoking cigars and drinking ale. But I guess it's not my place to judge, really. Yeah, I got that. So how many fairies have we got? I think we've got half of them. Yeah, we've got half of them. Uh, or maybe there's actually only two left to save. Ah, god damn it. Dan, we're lost, aren't we? You've got us lost. Ah, right, so that's blue. That way we've already been, I think. Uh, where was the big cavern? Because the big cavern leads on to another big cavern, as far as I can remember. That is the way we came, I believe. Ah, nope. This is back to where we started oh god damn it I mean they kind of help you out by having different areas of this um, ants nest colored differently but I mean it doesn't really help me oh man like literally my test run of this level took me I don't know 15 minutes if that I just blazed through it without like giving a single shit and here we are now. We're on 13 minutes and I'm thoroughly lost. Right, let's follow the mushrooms. Now oh, that looks semi-promising. No, we've already been that way, haven't we? We've already been that way. We've already been that way. Definitely already been that way. It is possible that... Now we're back in the blue area again. God damn it. If only there was a better way of navigating. Ah, right, here we go. Better way of navigating. We don't need a better way of navigating. We found where we need to be, I think. Right, there's a grub here. Kill it! Not bad, Dan. Not bad. Right. So we can go that way. Or we can go this way. I think we need to go this way. Up this big ledge here, which uh, apparently is not the way we needed to go. Apparently. Uh, God damn it. Dan, I thought you knew where you was going, buddy. 
I mean, come on now. That just leaves this background here. Maybe I should try and get a map of this place. I have no idea how you meant to map this out in your head. Oh, right, okay, cool. Need to find that big cavern again. Which could be bloody anywhere, I mean, honestly. Maybe I should have started recording this when I kind of don't have a lot of time. Uh, that way, nope. But this game's so much fun, damn it. Right, that leads us back. There's the cavern. Now, there should be two of these big caverns. And I thought they lead it onto each other. But I guess they don't. Perplexing. Definitely perplexing. Is it going to tell us how many fairies we've got? No. No. It's not. Because we don't need to know that kind of information. I mean, technically, you can just count the amount of uh, colored fireflies following us. Alright, this is back into the amber bit. There's one last bloody massive cave that we need to find. And in that cave, there is a giant door which we need to smash that will let us fight the Ant Queen. Ah, we're back to the beginning. God damn it. One second, guys. Right, looks like we found some more ants. That's generally a good sign. Nice, there we go. Aha! Right, four rescued, two remaining. Oh god, more ants. Excellent! Dan was hungering for some more ants. Wow. There is a few grubs in here. Well, let's get to it. So that leaves us five rescued, one left. Bugger, I hope he's in here. I think he might be. Now, this is a big ass area right here. But I th think. Oh, nice. More amber. Well, certainly. Uh, ah, there he is. Certainly uh, bringing home more than she bargained for. Right, there's all of our friendly friendos saved. And we also have... Do we want to shop any goods? I mean, we could enchant the sword, but... I don't think we want to. I mean... Eh. If you are brave enough to go beyond this point, you will enter the chamber of the dreaded queen. Excellent. Then we shall put her to the sword. Right. Not bad. Let's get some health sorted. So we probably want to kill these guys. Of course, we don't want this anthill coming back, do we? Right. Ready, Dan? Oh, God. We're going to want our best weapon. Which is probably the flaming longbow, actually. It's not great. Yeah. Kill it with fire, Dan. It's the only way to be sure. You got this big guy. Small guy, I guess. Oof. I like the way it has feminine eyelashes. <laughs> like, really? Ooh. She angry. Ah, we got this, Dan. I don't know what you're worried about, buddy. Kill them! Kill them all! Oof, man. Okay. These uh, flaming arrows aren't actually that fantastic. So, she's going to drop amber from the walls or the ceilings, which is not great. And after every cycle, we're going to get more ants come our way, but that's okay. Dan is trained to deal with these ants, apparently. I don't know. This is not doing too bad, I suppose. Might do more damage if we actually charge it up, but I think rapid hits 
would probably be the best idea. Uh, we could also take the axe out for a spin, I guess. See how this goes. Yeah, that's doing a lot of damage, actually. I'm a fan of that. Let's do that. Also, draining through our life bottles. Oh, God. Yeah, the axe, actually, not bad. Quite an impressive uh, weapon, I suppose. And we don't actually need to kill her minions, I don't think. No, we don't. We can just chuck axes at her chest until she dies from it. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of health here. This can be a tricky boss. Kind of. If you don't have the uh, correct weapons. Yeah, we and we really don't have very good weapons yet. Come on, Queenie. Come on. Go back up. Let's see that chest of yours. No, don't expose... No, Dan. Can you hit the freaking Queen, Dan? God, Dan, you're a nonce. Uh-oh. This might actually go badly for us here, guys. Um, by might... Don't die. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah. I guess I will meet you guys back there in a second. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dan's targeting of his ranged weapons is, well, well, I think they pulled the targeting mechanics of his weapons straight out of 1999 when this game originally came out ah uh, yeah we've got to do that i got to do that mission again which means i do not have time to do that mission again so i shall have to meet you guys back here tomorrow um bugger that was really unfortunate man the axe is the way to go actually it definitely does the most damage against the queen it's just a shame that um dan doesn't actually like to aim at the queen hmm maybe the sword Go around with the sword, kill all the ants, and then hit the queen. Ah, uh, we'll figure it out. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Uh, once more with feeling, I believe the expression is. Have to be a little bit quiet because the missus is suffering with a massive migraine. So I'm going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit whispery. Well done. I think. Different tactics are in order. Oh, I didn't even realize we could skip that. Let me turn my headphones down. That's better. Okay. I think the best strategy here is definitely going to be going for the hammer. Like so. And we're going to give him a bit of a squish. <laughs> Little bugs. Ah, bollocks. Yeah. Uh, Dan, thank you. Yeah, you can kind of see how useless he is at aiming uh, where we want him to aim, which is, you know, the giant ant's chest. He's kind of a bit of a soft brain, our hero Dan. Right, there we go. Light him up with the arrows. There we go, that's what we're talking about. Now, unfortunately, these ants are going to start coming from every freaking angle. But that's okay, we can charge up. Oof, God. Come on down. There we go. Not bad. I say not bad. Ah, good, 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 good. That's it, Dan. That's it. 350 health left. Okay. Charge. Charge. Oof. That'll do, Donker. That'll do. Oh, God. You know, it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to use this. Come on, you. Come on. Expose yourself to us. Thank you. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, son of a bitch. So close. So close, guys. Damn it. They're all hiding. Don't hide. Dan. Dan, stop being so useless. Seriously. Quick. Come on. Yes. Okay. That battle really isn't that tough, but for some reason, Dan was struggling. We did. Excellent. 
Well, that's the only important thing. Cool, we got a free bar. Let's grab the chalice. Not bad. We really did lose pretty much all of our health there. Uh, never mind. We can always get that back easy enough. Bless me if it isn't Daniel, Lord of the Ants. Mm. Hold still, and I'll remove the shrink spell. More like Bane of the Ants. We pretty much destroyed their entire civilization. Well, we did. Because oh, we killed the queen. Lovely Amber. Here you are tonight. A wart cupboard and cabbage smelling old crone. I may mm. be, but I always keep my promises. <laughs> Grant you my reward. Why, thank you. So, we get a rather interesting reward from the Queen. We get the chicken drumstick. I think she gives us 30 of them. It seems pretty useless when you first look at it. There we go. You are what you eat. Now, this thing has two uh, abilities. We can throw it like so. And any enemy that's around it will turn into a chicken, uh, a roast chicken. And we can eat that for 20 health. Or the alternative ability is we can eat it and get, I think it's 20 health back. Yeah, 20 health back. So, you know, it's not a lot of health. Um, and... I mean, it's useful in a pinch, I suppose, but you can't buy them. The only way you can actually get them back is if we go back through and do the uh, ant mission again. Um, you can only have 30 maximum as well, so it's not brilliant, but, you know, as I said, in a pinch it can come in handy. Right. I mean, if we ate all of them, I think it would heal two health bottles worth of health, which, ugh. Uh, it's better than nothing. Right, anyway, let's see who is uh, offering us a reward this time. Okay. Ah, uh, looks like we might have to take the shield. Yep, we've got to take the shield. I mean, it's not bad. It's the best shield in the game. Um, he says it's a magic, unbreakable shield. That's a lie. <laughs> it's just stronger than the others. Ah, Herr Fortescue. You are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Sturngard, what do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, Nein! Modern warfare is a question of science. The science of shields. <laughs> I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic, Herr Fortescue. Some say it's better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I say to you that this is rubbish! <laughs> So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! Mm. Yeah, I mean, also Dan's dialogue doesn't really make a lot of sense either. Now, if you look at the amount of health that this shield has, it's got 400. If you look at the silver shield, silver shield's got 250, so, you know, 400 is considerably more HP. But it's really not that fantastic to be honest um for a magical item i think it's a little bit rubbish it's also extremely extremely expensive to uh repair but hey i mean another item is another item i guess um let's have a little look do we need to buy anything whilst we're here uh, we could enchant our sword, but it's a hundred gold, and the enchantment only lasts one minute eight seconds, which is uh, it's silly if you ask me. Oh, we could really use some flaming arrows. Oh, they're expensive, man. Uh, we've got plenty of spears. Okay, that's good. There you go, buddy. Eat up. Right. Anyway, that. Is this mission done? Leave the Hall of Heroes. Aye. Now, when we come back, guys, we will be returning to the Enchanted Forest. But this time, we're going to do the actual proper mission. We've done the Ant Hill. Um, so now we just need to actually go and uh, sort out the demons. Now, off camera, I am going to run around and get us back up to full health. So, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.